The styling mini should have been this simple from the start. There should have been just this styling mini dish, this power cable, and this power adapter. And once you click this in, you should be online from anywhere. No messy cables, no bulky converters, just plug and play. Off-grid life could not be any easier. Hi, my name is Jeremy. This is the Peak2 Link Power 1 and it's the gadget that SpaceX should have included into the Starlink Mini from day one. So let's step into our office and we'll help you break it down. Now this is what you get inside the box. A 96 watt hour battery with an LCD screen, a USB-C port and three quarter inch mounting points. A DC to DC barrel connector and a USB-C charging cable. And that's it. Now to operate it, first you have to plug in the DC to DC barrel connector. One goes into the Starlink Mini. The other goes into the PicDo Link Power 1. Then you'll just clip it in. Now, once you've clipped it in, it's staying in. No matter how hard you shake it, it's not coming loose. Now, to turn this on, press and hold the power button until there is a green ring, like that. And you're basically on space internet. Pew 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 pew. Now, Pikdu may be a relatively new brand and you may not have heard about it, but they have built a reputation on creating very clever cable-free designs. Even Linus Tech Tips have reviewed some of their products. Why are we still using cables? How do? Pikdu. The Pikdu Link Power itself weighs 645 grams, which is only 15 grams heavier than an Anchor 737 power bank. But unlike other setups, this one clips into your Starlink and it turns it into a one seamless integration and the whole thing weighs no more than a typical laptop. Now this is our go-to solution for everything. This is a uh, silicon case with suction cups for mount and what we do is we'll just put this in here and it fits it in nice and snug and with this you can basically put this Starling Mini anywhere and for us we usually just stick it on the roof of our van because we have a fiberglass roof the signals just passes through it without any problems. Well, unless when we're parked under some trees. If we're parked under some trees, we'll just take the Starling Mini with the Pick2 Link Power and we'll stick it on a tripod. There is really no cables involved and it is so easy. The Pick2 Link Power is IPX4 rated. It is water resistant and dust proof. So, there is no problem leaving this outside. Now, if you're wondering how long the battery will last, well, according to Pigdu, you're going to get four hours out of this. But our real life test pegs it around two to three hours. And it's all dependent on how chatty the satellites are to your satellite dish. And sometimes when you're in a tough location, lots of foliage, the uh, dish will just draw more power to push the signals through, which means your usage will always vary. Now, to check on your battery life, you can always see it through your LCD screen here, like this, where it will show you how much power you're drawing and how much time you have left. If you have a 100 watt charger like this here, you can quickly top the peak to back up using your USB-C cable. We've seen it go from 0 to 80% in less than one hour. It supports fast charging. And if you keep it charged, the Link Power has pass-through charging, which means it doubles as a UPS for your Starlink Mini. So when the power drops or your car cuts out, the Starlink Mini continues working. 
Now, Pick2 also gives you this nifty app that lets you check on the status of your link power using Bluetooth. And that way, you can always monitor your power situation from afar. And when we're heading out for a hike, we'll just unplug it and take it with us. Portable internet in the backpack. Great for uploading your latest drone videos from the bush. And because it has a USB-C output in a pinch, you can use it to top up your cameras, drones, or other devices along the way. So what's the catch? Well, if there is one downside, I would say that it is that the battery doesn't last whole day. But for something that weighs 645 grams and this slim, I think it's a fair trade-off. The whole thing is a very neat, very purpose-built design and it integrates seamlessly into your Starlink Mini. And it's not like any of those hacky workarounds out there. For our usage, I like how the Starlink Mini acts like our UPS when we're driving and it becomes our super ultra portable when we're out hiking. Now, don't take our word for it. Even The Verge says that the Starlink Mini benefits greatly from an accessory like this. And if you have a Starlink Mini, this Peak 2 Link Power 1 should have been in your bag from day one. But if you haven't got the Starlink Mini, check out the link below and you can score yourself a one month free Starlink subscription and you'll get internet from anywhere. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the review and we love to see other people's Starlink setup. So please do share with us in the comments section below. And please do subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why are we still using cables? How do? Peak do. <laughs> <laughs>